All right, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Today you guys have seen with the title we're gonna be talking about everything that we'll be leaving soon Practically speaking we do have seven days till this update does dip on us, right? Yes I always record these last chance videos early because when it comes to a festival or it comes to anything like a uh, Collaboration, right? You have to finish the things way earlier than you know Practically the final day because if I make this video when I usually do right for regular updates I was just like what Saturday Sunday Friday around that time the update leaves on Monday so given i give you guys four days to go and finish everything you're screwed right so i don't want to do that i'm trying to help you out the and like the best of my ability so i do record these videos on around now i guess these days so there you go if you're new to the channel as well make sure to hit that subscribe button and take that notification bell because it really does help out a ton on this video we're going to set a simple like goal let's see if we can crack 300 likes let's see if we can do it with no further delay let's jump into the last chance and yes i did not make a passionals video yesterday because again dude the passionals were atrocious uh, yes, again, everyone can go and argue the fact that, yeah, we have dead weeks, it is what it is, but I'm telling you, they could handle dead weeks just a little bit better if they split the content up from this week to that week, right? Let's say, in this entire Holy War Festival, right, let's just say they took away one event. Let's say they took away Purr and Poo, they gave us Belmos, a fight festival event, a spin event, and other things, right, and they just dropped Purr and Poo this week. Would have worked out, I would have been happy with it, right? We had a final boss with this update, we had a lot of stuff, right? So they could have just split it in half. So you have things to do, right? So you don't just finish everything in one week and then you're practically done with it, right? Most people that want to actually grind, finish it within the seven days, right? So this week, they're just going to take a week off of Grand Cross. They'll just do their dailies and dip. So, I mean, A, it would be a better idea to split the content up. Just to suggest in Ant Marble, yes, it would help out because people won't actually dip on the game uh, for this week. Like right now, I'm telling you right now, everyone is taking a break from Grand Cross this week, right? They're not going to actually play as much. Uh, most of the content has been finished, right? They've done bell most. They just do their dailies. They do this stuff. There's no new fresh content for the week. So that's really how it ends up. Again, overall, I'm happy there are dead weeks, but just split the content up. It would be a, a little bit easier uh, solution, right? Instead of dropping new content overall, just my, my opinion. But yeah, it will take you three days to complete this practically. If you're not taking care of the dungeon, the dungeon requires three days. So three completions of the dungeon. Let's say you start that today. You have today, tomorrow, and uh, what is it? Wednesday? Yeah. So overall, make sure you are taking care of that just in case you guys miss out on it. We also have a spin event that I have not. I have been slacking on this hardcore. What you guys got to do is just get coins. They're practically from, I believe, Fort Solgris, free stages, I think, and coin shop, right? Go and get that. Then you can go and progress higher and higher. Uh, in the coin shop, you can practically buy the gold one, and it gives you like 25 coins, which is very, very good. It gives you a Tarmiel costume at the top, so a very, very solid event. I want you guys to go and complete that one because, yes, getting a Tarmiel costume is pretty good, and it's a really cool one in my opinion. We also have this entire thing. It is Purr and Poo. Just make sure you guys take care of it and then go and clear out the exchange shop. It is pretty expensive to do so. So just make sure you take your time with this. Do your completions daily. I only have 44 coins right now because I've been focusing on the growth tab. But make sure you guys go and buy the costumes. Currently in the exchange shop, there's Galaxinia, I think Monspeed, and Gallon. So just make sure you guys are taking care of that. And then again, Purr and Poo is one of my favorite conquests ever. I love the entire conquest game mode. I wish we again got more of these like, you know, weekly or maybe even like every month. They do like a monthly co conquest quest where like, they have the entire community go and just you know tackle the conquest together it would be so cool i'm just giving ideas here for some reason because the attack on titan one was amazing and then they did one with like a crab boss that was like the entire community had to do damage to it and we beat that in a day it was like such a cool thing in my opinion overall though there's so many things they could do with it but yeah i'm just i don't know why i'm giving ideas today i don't know why fight festival event make sure you guys are taking care of this they have the bonus points and they have wins, like it's uh, abundant rewards based on your wins. So just make sure you guys go and t uh, check that out. It's pretty cool. I love this entire new idea of uh, consecutive wins, right? It makes you actually want to continue on a win streak. And then when you lose, you get so angry that you continue onwards again, right? So it's like that entire idea uh, that you want to play more and more of PvP. And again, they did update the PvP rewards over on JP, so which is pretty cool. Uh, we will get that on the second anniversary update, so there you go. Also, we have the Fort Solgris update. Uh, or the Forest Ogres event where you guys can go get a gem daily, right? If I go over here, I think it shows. It doesn't show, but you do get a gem from this. And you also have the event for, uh, what is it, Escanor's uh, Sweet Gluttony. He always has this event. They always rerun it, but make sure you guys get the two gems from it. Practically, that's it. We also have the Equipment Enhanced Stone Perks. Just go and use your stones. I've only used 1,295 so far. I have like 10,000, so easily I'll be able to complete this. Just make sure you guys get it, because again, getting the, uh, you know, Tier 3 Awakened SSR equipment, it's honestly one of the easiest things to do. It's not gems, it's enhanced stones. We don't get this that often, so when we do, take advantage of it. We also have power-up events. 
Uh, nothing really worth it other than this one. Make sure you guys go and buy things that you actually need, right? Let's say you need, uh, what is it, materials or something uh, for leveling up. Go and buy them ASAP because, right, these updates help out so, so much when it comes to buying materials. It does have a, you know, extra gold cost, but I think we have enough gold at this rate uh, that we can go and take care of that. Again, I love this event more than anything just because I'm too lazy to go and grind free stages so when I can get materials for just gold, it feels nice. Also, make sure you guys are taking care of your dailies. I know that people always skip out on these daily cooking or the clear boss battle ones. Just make sure you are doing that daily and Belmos does exist. For everyone wondering, I currently have 200 Belmos cores. I don't know how, but uh, I've been getting really lucky on my drop rates with them. I have only been doing the, the three per day and I'm still at that many. I don't know how it's working for me. I get like 12 or like nine, I think nine to 12 uh, per run. So overall, I'm popping off. But also, for anyone that does not know this already, there are challenges over here you guys can go and complete Win Without Dying and Deathmatch Belmoth Hard, right? So, again, it's Belmoth. I say Belmoth just because of how uh, JP says it. I can't. I don't know why I structure my brain to say Belmoth. But again, I will I will start doing that. But yeah, Belmoth has uh, challenges over here. You guys can go and get some extra gems here and there. I think it's like 20 altogether. It's a few gems. Just to make sure you guys take a look into it and just go and claim that they are in your achievements tab. If you're able to complete it on, I think, Normal, Hard, uh, Extreme, and then Hell, you get gems for each one. Also, my knighthood will have some spots today. Deadly Dingoes, make sure if you want to join up, join up. Uh, we have had a few people that have been, you know, slacking on, uh, on you know, logging in. So, uh, we're going to have to slide some kicks. Again, if you do watch this video and you're in my knighthood, just make sure you log in or let me know if you're going to dip for a few days just uh, so I don't kick you. Uh, overall, though, yeah, the knighthoods have been a little bit dead over all accounts. I don't know why. Uh, knighthoods always kick up after updates like I swear after uh, ReZero the knighthoods just went dead after Zeldris the knighthoods went dead after uh, Stranger Things the knighthoods went dead I don't know why that always happens it's like a cycle uh, with a game after an update the, you know the knighthoods just like downhill like they all log in up until the knighthood and then after boom next up we still have a final boss to go and take care of and we have Tower of Trials I am sitting here with a nice 25 left I haven't even touched Tower of Trials I keep forgetting the tab ex exists over here and I just haven't gotten the time to actually go take care of it this is the tab you click to find now let's see i think it ends in an extra week so we have more time on this one it ends on eight no wait wait yeah so we only have seven days left in this boys make sure you guys go and complete this last chance for tower of trials as well also make sure you guys go over here top right and claim your re-zero gems they're gonna go away if you haven't already claimed them go and do that there's also the final boss gems i believe that should be there still i think if they are go and claim that just make sure you guys took care of all of that as well and then on top of that, there are costumes here for anyone that cares. These will be uh, available for gems in the upcoming updates. If you would like to go and spend on them, for anyone wondering, I will buy the Goddess Elizabeth one because, first of all, it looks really clean and it's one of the better ones, in my opinion, out of the entire costume sets in the game for Elizabeth. And then I will buy the Sariel one, even though I don't even know why, but he, he just looks clean. I don't know. Yeah. We also have the sale left on the cosmetics for the commandments. A very good sale. Still, again, pick up these two. Uh, if you want any of the other ones, let me know which ones you do buy. I might buy Esterosa at this point. I'm thinking that is my bet. I don't know why. Again, out of all the costumes, I love his weapon. I think his weapon's like a tennis racket. I might just buy that for literal memes. Let me see. Yeah, it's a tennis racket. So I don't know why, but he looks he looks he looks cool with it. So I will pick that one up. That's really all I care about. There is the even last skill weapon. I thought I owned that. I don't own that, which is kind of sad. So I might also. Uh, take a look at that overall i don't like the headpieces as much i might just buy one of them here and there i will see how i do it i'm currently trying to save up as many gems as possible for the one and only purgatory bond yes he deserves my gems he, he definitely deserves them if anybody wants to pick up anything quench up again remember quench up ends tonight make sure you guys go and take care of that if you care about any of it over there uh, nothing else special here we do in fact have the gold thing over here i already bought that for the day and we have this stuff over here if you need per and poo coins if you need only any of the coins just go and buy them uh, as soon as you can in case you won't make it for whatever event we have tarmiel's one and the exchange shop for pern poo but there you go this has been the entire last chance video the holy war festival is ending in seven days just make sure you guys go jump into it break everything down and finish it you do have some time and again most of these events will last you five days exactly right because i think this spin event will cap you out around five days that is when you got to jump into it then the pern poo gives you five per day you're going to do a little bit extra so just make sure you take care of all of it uh, then the sacred treasure shop expires in seven days with all those costumes that are on sale and then the other ones go on sale which are the uh what is it, the school costumes for the goddess race make sure you take a look at everything coin shop expires uh, or resets then you can go jump into that the gems in the top right will also leave make sure you guys claim that as well that's been the entire video hope you guys enjoyed it peace out everyone enjoy the rest of your day have a great one and i'll catch you guys the next one later